Are you thinking about buying a home? Are you looking for a unicorn? What's that? That means that you're looking for a property that doesn't exist. Let me give you an example. I had a guy call me up a couple of months ago, said he wanted to buy a intercoastal property in Delray Beach in Palm Beach County for his son. He wanted to have two bedrooms, two baths, and had to have the back porch looking at the water on the intercoastal. And he said that he'd be willing to pay $200,000 for it. Well, you can't touch anything on the intercoastal unless it's 55 and over for less than 400,000. So then he told me that he would be willing to take a one bedroom for his son. And I explained to him, what you're looking for does not exist. So how do you know if you're looking for a unicorn or not? The first thing you have to do is you have to get into the MLS. And if there's no properties available for what you're looking for, you have to start thinking to myself, am I being unrealistic? And the way you find that out is you go into the pendings and the most recent close, like the last 60 days of closed sales. And you look at the properties that are in there. And if you start seeing properties that you would have bought when they were available at the time, then you know you're not looking for a unicorn. But if you don't see anything in the pending or the closed sales that you would buy, maybe you either need to change your price or other criteria to get the house that you're looking for.